the bell icon to turn on notifications. In an earlier lesson, we identified how the method of joins in relationships differ. Both methods are applied when combining multiple data connections from one data source. But what if we need data from different data sources? Blends, unlike relationships or joins, never truly combine the data. Instead, blends query each data source independently. The results are aggregated to the appropriate level. Then the results are presented visually together in the view. Because of this, blends can handle different levels of detail and they work with published data sources. For example, in this workbook we have two data sources. First is the customer data source, which has the customer information. And second is the transactions data source, which has the transactions information. Both data sources have the field customer ID, but in different levels of detail. Transactions data source can have multiple customer IDs in it if they bought from the store multiple times. While the customer data source contains unique customer ID. When data blending, your data sources will be identified as either a primary or a secondary data source. This is done on a sheet by sheet basis, meaning a new sheet can have a different primary and secondary data source. The primary will always be the first data source used in the view. For example, in this view, we have used the customer ID as the first field in the rows shelf. And so, customer data source has been marked as a primary for sheet one. A primary data source is marked with a check mark on its name in the data pane. Let's apply the blend in this view. Click on the transactions data source, then select the total amount measure field and set it as the text value in the view. Upon doing so, this creates the blend and marks the transactions data source as a secondary source. A secondary source will have an orange check indicator in its name in the data pane. Notice that there is a red chain icon in the customer field ID of the transactions data source. This means that Tableau automatically made the customer ID as the linking field of the primary and secondary data source. If a field has the exact same name for both data sources, it is automatically set as a linking field. To make the blend work, the linking field values must have the same values or members. You can edit the linking field by navigating to the data menu and clicking on Edit Blend Relationships. The new menu lets you specify which data source will be set as the primary and the field that will be used as a link. The linking field is marked with a red chain if it's active, meaning it is currently used in the view. This will be replaced by a gray broken chain icon if the field is not in use. Observe at what happens if we remove the customer ID and place it with date of birth. Upon doing so, the customer ID field in the data pane now has the gray chain icon. It also removed the link between the data source and so the values on the table change to a single value, which is the aggregated amount. The gray chain icon also serves as a marker that the field can be potentially used as a linking field. Let's click the icon to establish the linking field. Once activated, the correct values will now be shown in the table. When blending data, the primary data source defines how the view will be aggregated. In this tabular view that we have created, the total amount which was originally aggregated per order or transaction is now aggregated into the customer level, showing the total amount paid by each customer ID. The secondary data source will be limited to only the values that have corresponding matches to that of the primary data source. So customers that have no customer ID recorded on the customer data source will not be included in the view. This process is similar to that of a traditional left join, but the main difference between the two is when aggregation is applied. A join combines the data first before applying an aggregation, while a blend will aggregate data first before combining the data. Blends are established individually on every sheet and can never be published, because there is no true blended data source, simply blended results from multiple data sources in a visualization. Instead, 
you need to publish data sources separately, then blend the published data source afterwards. Data blending is particularly useful when the blend relationship linking fields need to vary on a sheet-by-sheet -sheet basis or when combining published data sources. Although data blending has been the only means of using data from different sources in Tableau version 2020.1 and earlier. A more efficient way of combining data using relationships has been applied. Relationships are the recommended way of combining data whenever possible, and blend should only be used when the former is unavailable. Earlier, we mentioned that blend is similar to that of a left join. As a review, join is applied on the physical layer of the canvas in the data source page. You need to establish a specific field to use for the join and the specific join type. Let's look at the different types of join that we can apply in Tableau. An inner join table will contain the records that matched in both left and right tables. If any row from either left or right does not match, it is removed entirely. Let's look at how the inner join is applied in this movie data source. This data connection has two sheets in it. First is the movie title, which has six records and contains the movie information and genre. The second sheet is the director and the vote sheet, which has six records and contains the director name, average votes, and total number of votes. Both sheets have the title ID field, which we will use on applying a join. To apply a join, open the physical layer and drag the second sheet into the layer. Here, Tableau automatically applies an inner join between the two records because it recognizes the similar field of title ID. The resulting output of the inner join only contains five records from title 1 to title 5. One record was dropped from both the left and right table. The drop records were T0007, Snow White, from the left table, and T0008, which was directed by John Ford. Both records were dropped because they did not have a matching record on the other table. Next is the left join. When you use a left join to combine tables, the result is a table that contains all values from the left table and corresponding matches from the right table. When a value in the left table doesn't have a corresponding match in the right table, you see a null value in the data grid. In the sample Tableau data source, let's change the join into a left join and observe which fields are included in the output. To change the join type, click the join icon and set the join type in the join window. Select left join and retain the join clause used. The output has six records. The same titles of one to five that has a matching record on both left and right table and a record with ID T0007, which is unique for the left table. You can see that the record is unique to that of the left table because it has null values in the right table fields, votes, director, and average votes. Since it is a left join, all records of the left table are included, even the records that have no matching value to that of the right. The result of a right join contains all values from the right table and corresponding matches from the left table. When a value in the right table doesn't have a corresponding match in the left table, you will see a null value in the data grid. Let's change the type of join in this data source to a right join. The result of the right join is the five records with matching title ID values and a unique record of T0008 from the right table. Notice that same as the left join, this record has no matching value from the left table, so the year, title, genre, and data published was null. The right join will include all records from the right table. The final join type is the full outer join. When you see a full outer join to combine tables, the result is a table that contains all values from both tables. When a value from either table doesn't have a match with the other table, you'll see a null value in the data grid. Let's change the join type to a full outer join and observe the output. The result has all of the records included in both tables, even those that have no matching value. Notice that the unique records from both tables still have null values since they have no matches on the other. Aside from blends, relationships, and joins, there is also another way of combining data from multiple sources. Union combines tables in a way that it appends the values of one table to another. Compared to the other methods, 
union appends or combines values vertically rather than horizontally. In order to apply a union in a Tableau data source, the tables or sheets used must be in the same data connection. Let's create a union on this movie list data source. We have two sheets, movie list one and movie list two, which has the same fields and data types. It is recommended to use a union in tables that have the same structure. They should have the same number of fields, have matching field names, and data types. To create the union, double click the button New Union on the Sheets or Tables section. This opens a new window where you can specify sheets manually or automatically. Let's try using the manual method first. Drag the Movie List 1 from the Sheets section into the Union window. Then drag the Movie List 2 from the same section and place it below Movie List 1 in the Union window. Once done, hit Apply. The data pane now shows all nine records from both sheets. The union was seamless because they have the same exact structure. Notice that the end of the table has additional fields called sheet and table name. The new fields provide information about where the original values in the union came from, including the sheet and table names. These fields are useful when unique information that is critical to your analysis is embedded in the sheet or table name. Let's remove the union we created before trying the automatic method. Click the drop-down of the union and select Remove. Once the canvas is cleared, double-click the new union to go back to the union window. Select the tab Wildcard Automatic. In this window, you can set up a criterion to include multiple files in your union. This way, you don't have to drag all files into the union window. By default, this will search the files available in the path that we have in indicated for the first data connection we created. You can enable the two checkboxes below to expand search to subfolders and expand search to parent folder to capture more files. The criterion you can set is limited to setting a wildcard or an exact value to the sheets or workbook that it will find. From this data source, we will set the criteria of sheets to include movie list, asterisk, where asterisk suggests that there is a combination of alphanumeric characters after the name movie list in the sheet name. If you wish to exclude the sheets with this type of name, you can set exclude in the drop down. For the workbook criteria, we have set it to include movie list.xlsx since we have the exact workbook name that we need. You can indicate a wildcard in the workbook name if you are going to include multiple files. Hit Apply once done. Same as the manual union output, it also included all nine rows from both sheets that was found according to the criteria we've set. Notice that two fields included were Path and Sheet. Path was used instead of table name this time because we are searching the whole folder for the file. This is done to exclude the exact path of where each file was taken, including the workbook name. Blends, unlike relationships or joins, never truly combine the data. Instead, blends query each data source independently. The results are aggregated to the appropriate level. Then the results are presented visually together in the view. In this view, we have used the customer ID as the first field in the rows shelf. And so, customer data source has been marked as a primary for sheet one. A primary data source is marked with a check mark on its name in the data pane. Let's apply the blend in this view. Click on the transactions data source, then select the total amount measure field and set it as the text value in the view. Upon doing so, this creates the blend and marks the transactions data source as a secondary source. A secondary source will have an orange check indicator in its name in the data pane. Notice that there is a red chain icon in the customer field ID of the transactions data source. This means that Tableau automatically made the customer ID as the linking field of the primary and secondary data source. If a field has the exact same name for both data sources, it is automatically set as a linking field. To make the blend work, the linking field values must have the same values or members. A join combines the data first before applying an aggregation, 
Union appends or combines values vertically rather than horizontally. Let's create a union on this movie list data source. We have two sheets, movie list one and movie list two, which has the same fields and data types. It is recommended to use a union in tables that have the same structure. They should have the same number of fields, have matching field names, and data types. To create the union, double-click the button New Union on the Sheets or Tables section. This opens a new window where you can specify sheets manually or automatically. Let's try using the manual method first. Drag the Movie List 1 from the Sheets section into the Union window. Then drag the Movie List 2 from the same section and place it below Movie List 1 in the Union window. Once done, hit Apply. The data pane now shows all nine records from both sheets. The union was seamless because they have the same exact structure. Notice that the end of the table has additional fields called sheet and table name. The new fields provide information about where the original values in the union came from, including the sheet and table names. These fields are useful when unique information that is critical to your analysis is embedded in the sheet or table name. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.